So a very warm welcome to Cambridge and a very cool welcome to England. <laughs> right. This is the seventh edition of the ASEAN Global Leadership Programme, which we've been running in conjunction with the SRW. So we are very, very pleased to see you. We're here in Cambridge, in the beautiful campus of Dunning College, running the seventh edition of our ASEAN Global Leadership Programme, where this year we're bringing a record group of 44 participants comprising very senior leaders in the public and private sector from the Southeast Asian countries. And uh, we are looking forward to a very exciting and stimulating week of discussion and knowledge sharing. Cambridge University Judge Business School is delighted to host the ASEAN Global Leadership Programme for the seventh year. We welcome the highest caliber of C-suite participants from both the private and public sector. The highly experienced participants bring a depth of knowledge and expertise of the ASEAN region, which combined with the academic expertise will deliver an exceptional week of learning and discovery. The participants in this program come from a very rich set of sectors. These are people who really know their subject, they know their industry, they know their home economies, and they are aware of global trends. My session was on innovation and in particular how organizations can become systematically innovative by adopting and embedding certain attitudes and practices deep within the organization that will help it to innovate continuously over a long period of time. There are many challenges facing the ASEAN community, but there's very similar challenges facing the global economy. We have challenges of where growth is going to come from. We have challenges about openness to international trade. We've got challenges concerning how we embrace new technology so that everybody gains. And we also have to learn from each other. We, we are learning from the experience of the ASEAN community, and we hope that the ASEAN community can learn from us so we can ensure that both growth in the ASEAN community, but also Europe and elsewhere, is further progressed in the future. And what's really important is that we have a dialogue. We have a dialogue between the participants and the faculty. Uh, one of the great strengths of the University of Cambridge is bringing people together who have one thing in common, and their excellence, but bringing them together to have discussion and dialogue and think about ways forward to meet these global challenges that we've been talking about. Cambridge is quite uh, a very quiet place and compared to Jakarta of course, but I like it. The moment I arrived to the University of Cambridge, I could feel the atmosphere of learning, you know, the, the, the intellectual capacity that's, that is happening. Being here already gave us a spirit of uh, looking for something innovative. The kind of discussions that's happening here is slightly different because it's talking about sustainability and how do you make that a sustainable journey rather than it's just facing the disruption and what's next. So it's more like a just, you know, transformation is like just a project and but it's never end. It's, it's a fantastic learning and it's opened up the horizon, the discussions that's happened between the professors and the, the, the team. There are people from the different parts of the world. So that discussion is very rich. Also, the depth of learning is something that is worth coming all the way from wherever you are <laughs> to, to this place to be able to learn. So I would definitely recommend this program to others. The transition to a digital economy, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, will have very big disruptive effects to many industries. It will also have big disruptive effects to workers. So what this will require from all of us is that we modify what we do. If we are all willing to do this and if we help the population to do it, this is something that can have a very powerful benefit for our wealth. We recognize the ASEAN region as one of the most exciting and innovative markets in the world. So therefore we are expanding our relationship in the area in three key ways. 
Firstly, we will be expanding our programs to senior executives and we will be sending our faculty to deliver programs on the ground in the region. Secondly, we will foster our growing alumni in the region and we will host an alumni event in 2018. Finally, we will establish strong research links with businesses and innovators in the region. We look forward to working closely with SRW to grow and establish an ongoing partnership with leaders in the ASEAN region.